Let's face it, like it or not, we're all getting older, mm. but that doesn't have to be a bad thing, especially if you've set yourself up for success. Your holiday get-together may be the best time to have important conversations with family and friends about health and aging. Dr. Nita Kumar is on call for us this morning, and she says we actually improve with age, which is the best news that I've heard in quite some time. Good morning, yeah. Doc. Good, Good to morning. see you. <laughs> so how do we get better with age? Explain that. Well, so biological age and chronological age are not matching these days. 80-year-olds are biking, skiing, hiking, traveling the world, uh, learning new languages. So it's really, it's, uh, really impressive. So we actually do improve with age. We change. Uh, there is a developmental psychologist, Eric Erickson, and he posed this idea that we continue to grow and develop in our 70s, our 80s, our 90s. And research has shown that our personality traits change. We become more altruistic, more agreeable. We're in more control over our emotions and we're less neurotic. So in really? some ways, we're poised to become better versions of ourselves. Oh, and it seems like the aging <laughs> process is actually changing according to some studies. Absolutely. So with advances in cardiac and cancer treatment, diseases that were once incurable are now curable or manageable. And then the other side of it is the lifestyle changes that we're making. The choices that we are making are actually affecting us at the gene level. So these better choices, not not smoking, eating well, exercising to an older age, practicing mindfulness, it actually leads to what we call epigenetic changes. So while we can't change our genes, we can actually activate genes. We can turn on genes. And with these choices, we're turning on genes that promote longevity, slow the aging process, repair cellular damage. So in some ways, these lifestyle choices are actually allowing us to reverse age. There's no magic pill? <laughs> we were Not yet. We were hoping. <laughs> right. well, we're I was just kind of hoping that was going to be the big takeaway. There is a magic pill book. So how does uh, basically age impact our health and how to prepare for it? Yeah. So, okay, we're living longer and we're not just surviving. We're yeah. living, right? So yeah. when you live, there's wear and tear on the body, right? So medical issues are going to come up. That's just part of being human. Yeah. So the idea is to prepare so we can move through those phases in the most graceful way. Mm -hmm. um, so the first thing is, we really want to be active participants in our health. Know your health history. And what I say to my patients is get an index card, write down all of your medications, your allergies, who your health care providers are, and what your past medical history is. Do you have high blood pressure, diabetes? Have you had surgeries? Take that index card, put it in your wallet or your purse. That is your most valuable piece of currency to getting appropriate medical care if you're ever in a situation. Because what it does is it gives your doctors a good starting point to know who you are medically and share that information with a family member. The second thing is embrace the power of telehealth. According to the CDC, 30% of adults in the United States used telehealth last year. So it's a great way to access your doctors if you can't get to an appointment but the other beauty of telehealth is it allows you to have your family members participate in your medical care maybe your family member lives across the country or can't take the day off from work so while you can physically be at your doctor's office your family member can be there virtually and it's great to have another set of ears and then finally you paid into this great system your entire life so you really want to know the resources that are available to you so Medicare for example, will allow home physical therapy, occupational therapy. A visiting nurse can come to your home um, after you've had surgery to help with wound care. You can even have a home health aide come to help with basic activities of daily living, like doing dishes, laundry, preparing meals. So that way, when a family member comes over yep. after a medical issue, they're not sitting there unloading the dishwasher. They're actually spending time with you and providing emotional support, which is so important when we're dealing with healing. Well, Dr. Kumar, thank you so much. Thanks, really yeah. appreciate your help and advice. We'll be right back right here on CBS News New York. Stay with us.